Welcome back guys. Tanner from GT's Outdoors channel. We've got uh, part two here of the Cold Steel Cheap Shot Broadhead test. So uh, one of my new subscribers, which I just want to thank each and every one of my subscribers. Um, really appreciate you guys watching, uh, checking out the channel, subscribing, commenting, all that good stuff. Uh, one of my new subscribers, um, not going to say any names. Um, he, know who he, he knows who he is. I'm not sure if he wants me to say his name or not, so I'm not going to. But uh, was curious about the cheap shot broadhead test. Um, and I realized that the frozen pork shoulder bone was a um, something that I did not expect the cheap shot to pass. Um, essentially, I did it just to keep it fair between all the other broadheads. I knew it wasn't going to pass. But uh, at the same time, I've seen Lynn Thompson and uh, some of the other cold steel guys shoot warthogs and impala and whatnot with these would i recommend it me personally no um that's not something i would do but i mean more power to you if you really want to i just don't think uh, i would so uh this is set up as a small game arrow for me these are the x300s uh 340 spine 32 inch uh 150 uh grain uh, screw and weights uh, 275 grain spartans behind the standard insert and then the cheap shot 125 um, same setup as last time guys you saw how this flew uh, you saw it shoot into that pork shoulder bone in part one um, i've got a whole fryer chicken here uh, an expired one um, nothing like some stank ass chicken i can tell you that um, it's not smelling too good but uh, got it from work just to shoot at so uh, this is a more realistic test for something like this smaller bones uh, all that good stuff uh, so i'm going to be shooting off the same bow Keep the test bear, obviously. Uh, bear Kodiak Magnum 48-28. So we're going to shoot it at 12 yards and uh, see really what this cheap shot is all about for small game hunting. Let me get set up, guys, and I'll be right back. All righty. Give you a better view of the chicken there. Nice size little hole fryer. So step back here 12 yards and uh, see what we can do with this cheap shot broadhead. Alrighty, first shot, I pulled that one a little bit to the left here. Let's go ahead and go up and take a peek. All right, looks like I got right in the leg bone area. Uh, looks like I got right in that leg bone uh, a little bit here. So go ahead and pull my arrow out. Definitely went all the way through into that target. Oh, wound up losing the whole chicken here. Um, doesn't look uh, like a hit bone. The broadhead is perfectly fine. Definitely got into that meat though. That is a, oh, sorry guys. That is a heck of a wound channel down in there from it just slicing right on in. So I'm gonna reset the chicken up guys and try to put one more in that bigger breastbone and see uh, how much abuse this cheap shot can really take. All right, guys, had a little malfunction with our tape here. Um, I'm out of Gorilla Tape, so I'm using just this uh, cheap camo tape just to hold the wings up and kind of prop up our bird there. Same broadhead, same arrow. Um, so let's hopefully uh, get a shot in the breast here for you guys. Alrighty guys, pretty good shot through the breast. Let's go ahead and scoot you guys up and take a little peek at the bird. Oop. Go ahead and set my bow down. I really don't want chicken juice all over it. Kind of kind of pissed me off a little bit. So get this uh, tape out of here. All right. Ugh. So we did have a complete pass through there. Oop. Had a complete pass through. We got through all that breast muscle um, and actually the wing joint as well. All right, broadhead, uh, dirty but undamaged. So that's good. That's what we like to see. And here is the wound channel on that chicken. Oh yeah, we got into the into the bone in there and it went right through it into that wing joint up in here. And feel little pieces of it in there. So. That's awesome, guys. Uh, I'm going to go wash my hands up, 
get this arrow uh, in the sink, and then I'll give you guys a final uh, final thoughts on the cheap shot broadhead. All right, guys. So my final thoughts on the cold steel cheap shot. So that first test uh, in part one, you saw it hit that pork shoulder, and it did get some penetration into that bone. So I was impressed with that. Um, it did fantastically. It took a little bit of bone out of that uh, leg joint, and it destroyed that wing joint um, up in there on that whole fryer. Um, arrows inside, broadhead is completely fine. Um, nothing wrong with it. So awesome there. Um, just don't really want uh, a bunch of rotten chicken stuck to my arrow. So uh, you know, for storage reasons in my quiver and on my arrow barrels downstairs, I really don't want chicken juice all over it. So uh, went ahead and getting that soaking a little bit. But uh, hopefully this was a more realistic test for the cheap shot broadhead for you guys. I plan on doing some small game hunting with them. I'm going to try and get some of that filmed and on camera. Uh, here in the, sometime in the near future would be uh, my best hope right now. So really appreciate you guys watching. Um, I'm Tanner. This is GT's Outdoors channel. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.